devil whispers in my ear It's time for your curtain call So I dress myself on up with alcohol What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going over the Terran Tactical Terminal List Glock 19. Uh, this is one that I did on my own. Got the stippling done, bought the Terran Magwell and base plate, uh, cut the ledges in, and added the Trigicon iron night sights on here. Uh, just going to be going over the functionality of this gun, overall opinions, and what it costs to get it set up like that. Uh, but before we get started, do me a huge favor. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and let's get into it. So starting off with the base here, we've got a Gen 3 Glock 19. Retailing at about 600 bucks. Um, Gen 3s are a little bit harder to come by because they have the finger grooves on here. So I saw this gun in the TV show, The Terminal List, fell in love with it, and wanted to build it out myself because you can't get a hold of the ones from Taren. They've been out of stock for a couple months now, and I did not feel like placing a back order. So I went out on my own and got it built and set up the way I wanted it. Um, had a stipple guy come in, do the same stipple that Taren has going on with his guns then ordered the base plate and magwell for the gen 3 on terrantactical.com uh, we got the mag scallop here to make that mag release a little bit more accessible make it for easier reloads um, also i had him cut a ledge in on both sides the axe has a thumb rest and it really helps you grip down on that pistol and control the recoil um, then the trigicon night sights were a must um, also had him do an undercut here for getting me a little bit higher of a grip on here. Hand fits really good up against the beaver tail. Allows you to clamp down and control that recoil. This is my everyday carry pistol. Um, usually have about an extra mag or two with me at all times. Um, functionality, 10 out of 10, it's a Glock. Overall, you know, feeling of the grip and, and the stipple job. It's pretty functional. It's not the most comfortable to carry skin to grip, so I usually wear an undershirt whenever I carry this, but definitely my favorite Glock that I own right now. I do have the 45 as well as the Glock 34. Um, anything that I would add to this, didn't want to do the optics cut. Something that I'm considering doing is the Glock performance trigger, just to get a little bit crisper of a pull and a shorter reset. Um, but overall, it's not bad for a carry gun. Uh, cool, that works. For All right, so I got my buddy here, ex-military and ex-police force, recently retired. Congratulations to you. Thank you, sir. So here is my Glock 19 custom build. Obviously check and clear as always. So you guys are used to carrying the 17 on duty. How do you like the 19? It's very compact. I mean, obviously, if you're out and about, obviously it doesn't show much. Whatever your whatever you desire of holding it, even inside. You know, whatever your preference is. I think it's very nice. I mean, obviously this is made the custom grip is made for you, obviously. My Glock 17, it also has the front red dot, mm -hmm. which is great. Because obviously, as you well know, you're gonna if you ever engage, hopefully not, that will never come down to but you look at the front side and then you you align it with the rear side as you go along, especially at night, especially at night and so on. So again, it's very nice. It feels good in my hands. Um, it's everybody's preference, no matter what it is that you have. Okay. Also, you've been dealt with clocks pretty much your whole entire life. Yes. What's been your overall, overall experience with them? Reliable? Yes, uh, because it doesn't jam. It's very difficult to jam unless you don't clean it like any other weapon. 100 percent beam rifle handgun um if you don't clean it keep good maintenance on it it'll jam okay um again it's very reliable i personally prefer my um beretta nine millimeter from the military and it's because the same thing as far as because it's fully metal it's all all the pieces it has more pieces to clean yes it has more pieces but i'm more familiar with it like i said earlier if you're familiar with your weapon great if you're not familiar, you know, so it's up to you, your option. So don't don't take my word for it. 100%. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And would you conceal carry this gun? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Cool. Absolutely. Yep. Awesome, man. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Anytime. Cool. 
All right, pros and cons of this 19. Pros, definitely gonna be concealability of it. Um, the base plates give you, opposed to 15 rounds, you're getting about 18 out of here, plus one in the head, so. Uh, definitely like that. Doesn't print too bad on the outside of my shirt. I usually wear these a little bit bigger fishing shirts, and as you can see, can't really tell I have it on me, but uh, feels really good in the hands. The undercut definitely made a huge difference as to where it felt a little small in my hands naturally because I have bigger hands. Um, and then the magwell, my pinky just sits right on there. So it feels perfect. The ledges serve their purpose very well. Uh, the front orange iron sight stands out a lot. So I'm able to find my target, bring my front sight to the target, engage. And these are night sights, so they light up in the dark. I can let this sit on my nightstand, use it as my nightstand gun. Uh, very reliable. Uh, cons, only thing I would say is just the texturing of this stipple job. Looks great, feels great when you are uh, got it in your hand, but as far as carrying against your skin, very uncomfortable. You'll get irritated very quickly with it. So that's my only thing there. Um, only thing different between mine and the Terran Tactical Terminalist Glock 19 is he has the carbon fiber uh, rear plate here, the Terran logo on the top, and then he's got his trigger kit in his model of the, of the Terminalist Glock 19. Um, I wish they still had them available on his website and I wish that the lead times weren't so drastic, but I understand you're paying for quality. You're not getting anything better than that. This is just something that I did on my own merit with my own materials and so outsourced all the people I needed to. But overall, this is my one of my favorite guns and it's my only gun that I've had and not traded, gotten rid of, or you know had to do anything extra to. It's just been pretty much... <clears throat> if you guys like this content, let me know. I'll start doing more of it, whether it's from the Terminalist or other movies and shows. Uh, I know we've got season two, uh, the Terminalist Dark Wolf coming out. I'm excited to see what Jack Carr has up his sleeve. We've got Chris Pratt and Taylor Kiss coming back, so they did excellent in the show together. I was a huge fan of that series. Uh, all the firearms and action sequences were very realistic, great acting, 10 out of 10. Really loved that show, so uh, be on the lookout for more content, guys. If you enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor. Like, comment, and subscribe. Got more content on the way. Just reached 1,000 subscribers, so thank you again to you guys. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time.